Uh, so what do you totally want fine. here? What do you want? Um, well, so the movement, the Million Student March, um, is a movement for a more um, equitable and fair system of education, as opposed to um, the really corporate model that we have right now. Uh, so the three core demands of the National Day of Action are free public college, a cancellation of student debt, and a $15 an hour minimum wage um, for people who work on the campus. And how's that going to be paid? Um, great question. Uh, I mean, you know, so I'm not sure if you're talking on like a national level or at particular schools. I can sort of touch on both. Um, at well, my if you wanted all that stuff, University, someone asked to pick up the tab. Who would that be? Um, the one percent of people in society that are hoarding um, the wealth and really sort of causing um, a catastrophe that students are facing. I mean, we have a, a relationship right now where one percent of the population owns more wealth than the 99 percent combined. All right. So um, if the one percent, Kelly, if the one percent mm -hmm. just had their taxes raised a few years ago, back to almost 40 percent. Then to pay for the health care yeah. law, they had them raised another few percentage points. Then they had their deductions right. limited to raise another couple points where, depending on the state or locality, they're, they're, they're pushing over about 50 percent in taxes. How much higher do you think? How mm -hmm. much more do you think they should pay? Um, I think enough until we have a system where not one in two American families are uh, threatened with poverty. So where I do they go? That, Let's um, say if you tax them, they're smart folks, these people, this, this, these one percent hoarders, right? So if they leave here, yeah. then who's going to pay for all this stuff that you want? If they leave? The country. Oh, um, I mean, there's always going to be a, a one percent in the U.S. Uh, the U.S. is like the bastion of um, of capitalism and its success, and I think. Do you that, think the one percent um, could pay for all of this? Really, I'm sure um, you're, you know. You sound very smart. You know what's going on. You mentioned what's going on in the world. You're probably aware of what's happening in Greece yeah. and these other countries that provided mm -hmm. all these benefits and then some, many of which you outlined very nicely here for us today, and they're going broke yeah. and they're out of money. And they're, they're, they, they don't know what to do. And their people are riding on the streets because they can't believe the money's gone. And the benefits and the promises yeah. are gone. Right. What do you think? Um, I mean, yeah, there's, a, there's a, like a global catastrophe right now of um, complete like defunding of social services. And because they ran out of money. Of public, you know of, what happened, Keely? They just ran out of money. Yeah. Right? I understand, but there is a 1% in Greece. There's a 1% in the United States. There's a 1%. There's a ruling class in absolutely every... I don't doubt there um, is, Kelly. You know, I don't doubt there is. But obviously yeah, they've so been these, trying to tap them and get money from and they realize either they don't have the money or they hid from the money. Or they're gone. They're gone. Yeah. And now these countries yeah, so are going Those bust. people need to be accountable. All right, fine. These, but they're people, smart and they're, they're, they're scaring the all over the globe. So now, now even yeah, if you... Yeah, they are, it, and that's a problem. All right, but they, they've done studies on this, Kelly. I don't want to get boring here. But even if you were to take the 1% mm -hmm. and take all of their money, tax it 100%, do you know that couldn't keep Medicare, just Medicare in this country going for three years? Did you know that? If we're to a point where the rich is paying 100% on their taxes, then we're on the road to socialism, and we're going to have a completely different um, type of public infrastructure. No, no, what I told uh, you, what I told you is that... Even if you took all the money from the rich who you say are getting away with murder, and you took it all away, mm -hmm. it wouldn't support one entitlement in this country for three years. I don't, I, yeah, I don't believe that. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I just don't, that sounds completely ludicrous to me. Do you, um, and then billions and billions of dollars. Do you know how much you get fully in, taxing the 1%? 100%. Um, I don't know. Is it close to the number, the it's about $16 a trillion, trillion dollars it's about that a trillion. we spent to bail out no, the no, banks? Hear what I'm saying, because I just want this to be a math reminder. One trillion, yeah. which would barely keep Medicare going for three years. That's one area. Even mm -hmm. if we repositioned it to go into this area that you want, we don't have enough mm -hmm. to do it.